with the craziness of Christmas and all the hustle and bustle and uh, chasing and uh, the, for bargains and fighting over a line and stealing and cutting each other off <laughs> just to get through and buy gifts for everyone. It was a little kind of hectic, I'm sure. And in the midst of all this craziness, we kind of lost Jesus. That's why it is very appropriate now to find him. <clears throat> Many of us did lose their peace in this mumbo jumbo and all this crazy <laughs> this time. We lost our peace, we were, not because we are bad people, but because we're tired, overwhelmed, so much to do, so little time. And by the time it's done and over, we are, we collapse. Today, this week and first Sunday after Jesus' birth, we are reminded, don't lose sight. Don't lose Jesus. Keep him close. And where do we find him? Anywhere. But some of us, unfortunately, we have so much to do. We cannot <coughs> at home. We we have so much, so much, so many distractions. We try to find a little quiet corner, but somebody call on us on the phone rings. and something here. We cannot find a quiet place. That's why it's not a bad idea to come to church, even if it's not. There's no mass. There's no liturgy during the week. Any time. Come to the house of God to find Jesus in the midst of this crazy life, daily busy life. It is so appropriate, my brothers and sisters, to start this new year on the left, on the right foot. <laughs> Make sure it's the right foot. Start it the right way, and there's no better way to start your new year then with God coming to his <coughs> asking his blessing for this new year. Putting it, putting, put this year in his hands. Tell him, Lord, here it is. We offer you ourselves, our heart, our life, everything put to you. Bless every thought, every word, every action, and every move we take. Let it be according to your will. Let it be pleasing to you. Don't let us lose sight of you. Keep us close to you. We know we have so much in mind, so many things to do, so little time, that, you know, make sure, let us make sure we keep our priorities straight. Everybody is important. Our family are important. Our work is important. But the most important thing is you. The most important thing is you. Your soul. Your son. I many times I hear people tell me, husbands or wives, oh, my husband is the nicest person in the world, or my wife is the nicest person. She's so nice with everyone except me. She loses her patience with me in no time. Her parents about their kids. My child and my son or daughter are so nice. And when they come home, they are so impatient. They lose their temper in the house. And, and that's very common with us. Where we, we give everybody the first priority, <coughs> give everybody the attention. And when it comes to the, what is precious and valuable to us, we kind of put it on the side. We don't give it a lot of attention. This year, let us put things in the proper order. First, put what is the most valuable in the front of our eyes. First and foremost, all our attention for that. God, our family, ourselves. And the rest will fall into us. After all, Jesus did promise you seek my kingdom, everything else will be taken care of. Everything else will be will, will fall in place, will be provided for. 
So with that thought and with that in mind, let us begin this new year without losing sight of Christ. <coughs> yes, Lord Jesus, you are the purpose, the reason, and the whole meaning of our existence. We begin this new year with you, and we want to end our life with you. We want every second of our existence be with you. Let us never, never don't, let, don't let us ever be, be discouraged, dis, dis, distracted and, and by, the, by the world. We want you to be first above all. Let every second of our life be according to your will. Guide us, Lord, and help us to do your will and honor your name so this year may be truly blessed so your kingdom will truly be fulfilled on this earth and your will be done in us and in the world Amen, Amen. We continue on page 118 We believe in one God the Father and the Almighty the Lord of heaven and earth and of all the sin and unsin. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, who God and not made, one and being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us man, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and lost his father. He suffered by and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. I will go to the altar of God. Thou you give joy to my youth in the abundance of your goodness. We we'll enter your house, O Lord, and worship in your holy temple. Guide me, O Lord, in your fear and instruct me in your justice. Pray to the Lord for us. May the Lord accept your offering and mercy on us through your grace.
presented to you by your faithful people and the pledge of their love for you and your holy name shower upon them your spiritual blessings and in exchange for their perishable gifts grant them the gift of life and entrance into your kingdom Amen. Let us now remember our Lord, God and Savior Jesus Christ and His plan of salvation for us. With these offerings placed before us, let us remember all who please the Lord from Adam to the present, especially the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Victory, St. Anna and St. George. St. Mary and St. Sharabon, St. Rafaan, St. Antalla, Lord, remember brothers and sisters, the living and the departed, children of the Holy Church, especially for the soul of Patrick, Jeep, Tosha. Remember also, Lord, all those who share with us today in this offering. Unity and indwelling of the Holy Spirit be with you forever. 